All this extreme festival action is proudly brought to you by Astron Energy, Volkswagen Motorsport, Dunlop Tires, and Investchem Chemical Logistics. Welcome to the rarefied atmosphere of Johannesburg, South Africa. Situated high up on the high felt, it is home to Kyalami, one of the oldest and most famous racetracks in the world. We are making a welcome stop in the Extreme Festival of Motorsport at Kyalami, where your commentator is Greg Malay. Welcome to round two of the Extreme Festival of Motorsport and it's Kyle Army Grand Prix of Entertainment that we're at. Can you believe it? Back at the home of motorsport in South Africa and massive crowds coming out to see the action. We kick off with the Astron Energy Polo Cup. Hello to you ma'am as well and big welcome to all of our competitors to Kyle Army. A lack of time on the circuit because of the bumper weekend means that qualifying is probably more important than ever. And there's no Super Bowl this weekend, so it's going to make it even more interesting to see what happens in the 20 minutes the Polos get out on track to see who's going to be on pole position for race one and two. As we saw earlier on in the season, some big gunners out the front end were changed up with a couple of new names hitting the front and a welcome return to a couple of older drivers that have been involved in the Masters category here at Kyle Army. They've got a little bit more experience, I think, here, so possibly could be mixing it up with the youngsters at the front end, particularly that man there, Wayne Masters. He'll be looking to try and get to the front end if he can. But he's got to take on Nathan Victor and Charles Smallberger and possibly Jason Loosemore. And that's how it's going to end up at the top end of the field. Nathan Victor just outgunning by 0.3 of a second. Smallberger and Loosemore. And amazing stuff there from Kyle Fisser to get up just ahead of Kutsia and Wayne Masters in the top six. Further back, again, some of the other Masters involved in that one. Great to see Alna Cruiser moving through the field. Nirav Singh doing a superb job there for the Kyle Army exhaust team. And there's our pole man, Nathan Victor. Yeah, I know. Everyone's super close. Um, it's a good thing I had Marco and uh, Rodney there helping me making the changes I needed. Um, we, we knew we were quick. We just needed to put it all together and I'm so happy we did it in quali. We were able to put the lap together. Wayne Masters on pole for the Masters. Good lap. I think just um, trying to be as smooth as possible. This track's very tricky. You've got so many corners. You, mess it. you can do perfect corners and mess up one and that's your lap gone. I think I also left a little bit of meat on the bone in this quali. But uh, great to have a pole by 0.1 with my old nemesis, old John Kruger. Good to see some improvements coming from the doctor as well. Hannes Skippers will be looking to try and get in the front end of the field if he can. Didn't quite go according to plan in Cape Town. Daniel Sun doing a little bit of data checking for some of the teams there just to make sure that they've got everything set up right. And looking forward to a big battle. Mocha Rodeo will also be in the mix, but it's time to go racing. On board with Jason Usmore as he hits the loud pedal hard and tries to stay there with Nathan Victor heading towards turn one. Look on the right hand side, you'll see his stable mate, Smallberger, and look at Ethan Katia coming through right from the word go, pushing hard, and that is going to be an amazing effort there to come from the third row of the grid from Ethan Katia to try and get up to the front end as quickly as possible. Good start from the Masters category as well. John Kruger going side by side there with Wayne Masters as they head down to Crowthorn. Up into barbecue already and you can see Kutsia has moved to third place and he's got some big pressure putting onto the back end there coming from Fissa and from Loosemore trying to retain that position. He applies the pressure himself onto Smallberger as they head towards Sunset for the very first time. A little bit of a wider line, watch him cut on the inside, watch that great rearview mirror on the right hand side as well just in case somebody sneaks up the inside. He has it uh, covered though fortunately and now will be looking to the left hand wing mirror to ensure that no one gets up the inside of clubhouse. A little bit out of shape there, oh a little bit squirrely there from Ethan Kutsia, loses a little bit of ground, that's why you've got Fissa on his inside trying to squeeze through, can he find a way past? Amazing effort there from Fissa trying to get into the S's just ahead, does he make it stick? No he doesn't, loose ball gets through there. Loosemore and Fissa are just hounding Ethan Kutsia as they come through the S's for the very first time. Look at that. They are literally bumper to bumper heading up towards the Okop. Amazing start there from Fissa as he heads onto the back end of Loosemore. Now dives 3 by 3 into Leokop. Will that make a stick? No, no, definitely not. Somebody has to give there. Fissa eventually tucks in behind Loosemore. We go on board with Loosemore's teammate Tyler Robinson just further back watching all this action. Mo Karodia just up the head of her. She didn't quite have the qualifying she wanted, but watch this top speed. 165, 170, 180-ish. And just a slight lift there. Comfort lift going through the left-hand sweep at the bottom of the mineshaft. 
down the gearbox. She closes right onto that Fast Five motorsport machine there of Mo Corodia, trying to find her way through, running a little bit wide. That could be costly there for Tyler. Got to keep an eye on that one. This is a tricky corner. Everyone's going to watch out for that. Don't run too wide because you can get completely wrong going through that corner. If it all goes according to plan, though, you can make up ground. And that's exactly what Tyler Robinson's teammate has done. What a move there from Jean-Dre Marais. She's He's closed right onto the tailpiece there of Robinson as they come to complete the first lap. Back at Kyle Army for the first time. Great to have Astron Energy here with the Polo Cup category for the first time at Kyle Army. And look at the gaps that have opened up ever so slightly there. Lou Small's lost a little bit of ground. And it's a two-way fight at the front end between Smallberger, his teammate, and the leader, Nathan Victor. That Summit Racing car seems to have it all on rails here this weekend. Behind that, it's Fissa. The Masters category led out at this stage by Wayne Masters. He's pulled us a little bit of a margin. He's pulled slightly away there from uh, John Kruger. Kruger having a little bit of issues of his own. As you can see, he's not quite the second car just yet. He's having a go for second. He has a big look and gets through. And Derek Smallberger gets uh, demoted down one place there for Team Red Racing and Sabertech. We're on board here with Masters. Clean air out front. Have a look at this. Going through Sunset. Fourth gear. And he's got everything perfectly set up on this car. This is an amazing effort here from this man, and he was a man definitely to catch. As I said, you saw earlier on in the qualifying, he got up into the top six overall in amongst the junior drivers, just showing the prowess and, of course, the experience he's got here at Kyle Army Grand Prix Circuit. Corodia now having some fun and games of his own, looking to try and get through on Fissa. Tyler Robinson trying to do the same thing there, as you can see, as they push down the hill. Kyle Fissa's got problems big time there from Corodia. Corodia definitely looking for an opportunity to overtake if one opens up here. Watch as they go through the sweep. They come down to Crocodiles, it opens up onto a wide bit of tarmac and there's lots of area to play around there. Coming up on the inside, are we going to see a move here? Yes we are. A little bit further back on that one of course. This is now Hannah Skipper's under a bit of pressure. And you can see all of a sudden that pressure is starting to pay off. You've got big pressure coming from Mussolini. Pierluigi stepping up for the first time now and having a fantastic run. As we go further up there, Fissa still under pressure. Corodia all over the back end of him, looking for a way through. Tyler Robinson sitting, waiting to pounce. First five go across the line, no changes there. And a little bit further back, that six, seven, and eighth place battle. What a superb battle they're having. But at the moment, it's all about Nathan Victor. And it doesn't look like Charles Smallberger, Lou Small, or Ethan Kutsia have got an answer here. The Summit Racing Man, as I said, has got this car dialed in. And they've done an amazing job. They really have to get this car to work the way it is here at Kyle Army. Not any answer whatsoever coming out of Smallburger. It's not as close as it was as, as it was in Cape Town. You saw Loosemore a little bit tighter there, and you can see why Loosemore is having his own little hassle, and it's coming in the form of Ethan Gutierrez. And in fact, Jason Loosemore getting loose out of Yuxke. Not the way you want to be driving a polo around here. You've got to be smooth. You heard it from Wayne Masters in his interview. The smoother you are, the faster you'll be. And that out of shapeness is exactly what could go wrong. Luigi going into. Oh, that's a big moment. The FSS car going into the doctor and the two of them slamming into the side of each other coming out of Yuxke. There's a big moment there between Pier Luigi Mussolini and Hannah Schiappa. Schiappa's got going again. I'm not quite sure if Mussolini's got going again. We'll have to keep an eye whether or not there may be a possibility of a safety car. They go into the S's. One, two at the moment. No change. Nathan Victor, Charles Smallberger. Mussolini is stuck there. You can see the marshals coming down there and just going to have a quick squeeze to see if that car can be safely removed before the cars get back again. They've got about half a lap to go before they get back to where that car is now stricken. Up towards Leerkop. A little bit closer this time for Smallberger. So the Sabertech and Team Red car has closed things down there on that Summit Racing machine. And Nathan Victor, well, he's led for a while, but he's slowly but surely being reeled in. And if he can get there, Charles Smallberger could possibly bring Lou Small and Kutsia along for the ride. Further back, this is Derek Smallberger trying to get the back end of John Kruger, who's lost a lot of ground, to the man out front in the Masters, Wayne Masters. That Alpha S machine is having a fantastic run here at Kyle Army. And the Habit car, unfortunately, not having the same kind of pace, though. Incredibly, even with Jeff Kruger here helping John out, there's lots of experience down in that pit, that's for sure. They come across, this is on board with Nathan Victor. What a nice shot here, over the top. Happy man, as you can see, heading to the checkered flag. And what a great victory there. That's two out of the three so far for Nathan Victor and Summit Racing. Charles Smallberger will definitely be much improved and very happy with his second place as the rest of the pack come down. This is Derek Smallberger, his uncle coming across the line, but it'll be two cars back there from the man who wins out, Wayne Masters in the Alpha S. Fantastic effort there from Wayne Masters in the Masters category to take the victory. He will go on to win ahead of John Kruger. And as they come to the line, that's how they line up in terms of the, the junior category. It's Victor, Smallberger, Lusmore and Kutsia. For San Corodio, your top six with Tyler Robinson just behind and Jandre Maria there as well. Masters going to Masters, Smallberger, Ferro and Mike Bavaglia, your top four. And there's your winner from race one, Nathan Victor. I'm super stoked. Um, 
trying to get my first clean sweep uh, nationals. Uh, so yeah, we went quali P1, race one P1. I hope I can do that in race two as well. And on a similar vein, Wayne Masters has done the same thing. I had a good start, missed the second gear or third, I can't remember. I was worried there, I, I'd lost a bit of pace, but then once we got to turn one, I just uh, start, did my race. I thought John would, would be with me. Uh, he must have, he had a, a, a car problem, so he fell away. But uh, thanks to our sponsor, Alpha ESS, to allow me to come race with uh, the Masters and had a fantastic day. Join us after the break to answer the question whether the two race one winners can do the double. I wonder what the plans are for Jason Newsmore now after only finishing up in third place in race number one. He's got a bit of work to do to catch his teammate. Charles Smallberger certainly has found some good pace here this weekend. And Luigi Ferro, I think, will be looking to try and get up there into the top three, if not into the top of steps in the Masters category to take on his teammate in the Alpha ESS team. As they head out now for race number two, it's time to go racing one more time for Astron Energy Polo Cup. Ethan Goodsea this time on pole position gets a great start. Nathan Victor goes with him. Mo Karodi with a phenomenal start goes to try and squeeze between himself and just getting on the inside there of Jason Newsmore. Newsmore also going side by side with Ethan Goodsea. This could end up in tears. They are two by two heading down towards turn one. Masters lights about to go out. Will it be Wayne Masters who gets the drop? Watch out from the background as well. A fantastic start coming right through the field there for Johan Goes. He got off the line like a rocket ship. One of the best starts we've seen out of him there for Team Red Racing. So they go in there. Speaking of Team Red, there's one, two, three, three by three of Team Red going there. That is Jean-Dre Marais on the inside of Tyler Robinson. On the outside is Roshan Goodman. Watch out as they come up towards in. Oh, it's so close. Yuxke, I thought it was going to get real there. And there were a couple of cards that touched. Yes, they were. Coming out of that left-hander, up onto the straight, towards uh, Sunset Corner. And Ethan could see her under a bit of pressure here. He's trying to hang on to that inside line and trying to hang on to the lead. He lost it slightly, but the inside of Sunset might have given it back to him as they go side by side. Yes, I think he's just been able to squeeze through there and move up one place back into the lead. Mo Karodi is there with him as well. But Lou Moore is the meat and the sandwich between those two. Those are two ex-teammates now. Now in separate stables, but having a fantastic dice nonetheless as they head towards the S's for the first time. Watch out in the background there. Good to see Pierluigi Mussolini back in the mix as well after that issue that he had in race one with Dr. Hannes Kiepers. The two of them coming together, coming out of the left-hander. On board with the Summit Racing Man. He's looking for the double and looking for the clean sweep. Down in fourth place is not where Nathan Victor wants to be though. Going through the gearbox, up towards Leokop, who closes onto the back end there of Corodia. Oh, someone's out of shape. Was that Roshan Goodman? I think it might have been. Goodman a little bit out of shape there and onto the grass on the inside of Leokop. Down through the field. One and two in race one are down in four and five at the moment. And that is certainly not where Smallberger wants to be. Fiss is behind him. He's a long way back from where he'd like to be at the top end of the, of the field. But at this point in time, it's Kutsia who leads over Lusmore. Lusmore running a little bit wide onto the grass. That might just affect those Dunlops slightly, but doesn't seem to be too much of a worry. Karodi is still there in third place. And he is pushing it to the limit. Speaking of pushing it to the limit, well, at the front end, it's a change-up. For the first time this weekend, we see John Kruger hitting the front. That habit in Team Red racing car, closing down on his Team Red teammate just up the road there. That is Roshan Goodman who's slowed up after that off-track excursion. But Masters is not slowing up, and he's trying to keep out Smallberger just behind him. Derek Smallberger closing that gap. Kutsia dives on the inside, returns the favor. It's literally about, about 500 to 600 meters of the track that they're allowed to be at the front, and then they change. Kutsia and Lusmore having <laughs> a little bit of a ding-dong here at the front and deciding who's going to have the lead into the S's, who's going to have the lead up towards Leokop, and change every single time they get on the brakes. Ooh! Don't run onto that inside curbing. That is going to be very, very difficult. And he had to. He had no choice because Lusmore was on his outside. Can you believe that? The outside of Sunset Corner is where Lusmore sets it up, and he sets it up to take the lead into Clubhouse. Now into the S's. Kutsia coming back at him. But he can't just get up the inside. There's no way there's going to be enough room there for Ethan Kutsia to put the nose of that car on the inside of Lusmore's machine. So Lusmore hangs on for now as they get to the top of Leokop. But with this little in-house fight, ooh, Smallberger running wide in the background. He's pushing hard to try and get through there on Corodia. As I was about to say, with this little fight, all of a sudden that Summit Racing Machine of Nathan Victor has joined the party. And Corodia and Smallberger are not too far away. We're going to have a five-way fight here for the lead of Astron Energy Polo Cup at Kyle Army. That is exactly what the big crowds have come out to see here. And this bumper weekend has certainly brought them in their hordes. It's great to see massive support for motorsport at Kyle Army again. Coming down onto the breaking point. This is Smallberger onto Corodia. Corodia shuts the door. 
Lee Thompson Racing and Fast Five Car keeping that Sabre Tech and Team Red Machine behind him. Horse Wicker running wide. A little bit off circuit there. Loosemore has been off circuit on a few occasions and this time it's actually uh, Nathan Victor who runs just over the curbing and nearly onto the grass. That's how hard these guys and girls are pushing in this category. Absolutely nothing in it. John Ray Maria with a much better run this time. He's just outside of that top six. Tyler Robinson, his teammate, just behind him. So a nice little run there from the Team Red cars. There's a four of them at the front end and all fighting for honours. Could see us having to fend off the intentions being shown by the summit racing machine of Nathan Victor. That's why he slowed up slightly. The defensive driving on Ethan Kutsia might have just given him a little bit of an advantage there to do small. As they come through barbecue up towards Yuxka. This is just amazing stuff from Astron Energy as always. And this five-way fight to the front could potentially be the five-way fight for this championship for 2024. Back to the Masters category now, and Wayne Masters still leading out over John Kruger, but they're in amongst some of the uh, back end of the Cup category. They've just gone past Nirav Singh coming up on the inside of Dr. Hannes Kippers. Oh, that's late breaking from Masters, and oh, he slams straight into the side. I think that's of jean Marais. Marais. Just getting a little, no, Roshan Goodman, no, Roshan Goodman, yeah. Just getting a little bit of a tap there as Masters went very late on the brakes. It might give John Kruger the opportunity to squeeze through. He's got through. So John Kruger has just managed to get ahead there. And he makes it stick up into barbecue and out of barbecue into Yuxkay. So now we've got Masters versus Kruger for the lead of the Masters. Kruger leading things out though. And they're in amongst those back end of the cup category. That's not going to be an easy place to come through, I can tell you that much. Nirav Singh is involved there as well. Great to see him having a much better run here. Tucked in behind Mussolini and Dr. Hannes Kippers as they get to the top of the hill. Roshan Goodman behind them. Now coming up on this, there was late breaking from Wayne Masters, way too late going into Crowthorn. This time a little bit smoother into Leokop, but he's still got to find a way through here on that habit and team red racing machine of John Kruger. So it's not done yet in the Masters category, and Wayne Masters knows it. If he wants the clean sweep, he's got to get through there and make one position up on John Kruger. John Kruger's going to do everything he can to try and keep him out, or can he keep him out? Late onto the brakes, into Crocodiles. Oh, there's a touch out front! There we go, I think that might have been Nirov. Nirov Singh coming together there with Hannes Skippers and allowing Roshan Goodman to squeeze through. So a little bit of chopping and changing in that Masters category right in the closing stages. That's the kind of action you expect to see in Astron Energy Polo Cup. At the front end though, it's been Loosemore. He's been able to keep them at bay and he takes the victory only just over Ethan Goodsia and Nathan Victor settles for third place ahead of Smallberger. And a great drive there from Mo Karodia to get back up into the top five. Here come the Masters. Well, that's Derek Smallberger who's managed to squeeze through there. And Wayne Masters is going to finish up at the top. He's going to take the clean sweep. Smallberg is going to get second. It looks like John Kruger is going to have to settle there for third with some issues in the closing stages. Confirmation results there. Luce Moore, Kutsia, Victor, Smallberger, Karodi, and Fissi, your top six with Maria Robinson. Wayne Masters into the top ten overall, just ahead of Pierluigi Mussolini. Second place in the Masters, those goes to Smallberger. Ahead of Kruger, Cruiser, and Johan Chos. Let's catch up with our race winner, Jason Luce Moore. Maybe it takes a race to wake up, I don't know, <laughs> but yeah, another win, um, yeah, just extremely happy with the effort the team's put in, my parents, um, my support behind me, really, really makes a difference, so yeah, just super chuffed I can deliver for them. Taking the clean sweep in the Masters, Wayne Masters, and I'm sure he's enjoying himself. I'm getting to like it now, but I'm super chuffed, uh, that, was a, that was a great race, that was uh, entertaining. John uh, kept, had a better start than me, I had to stay with him, I knew I had to come back at him somewhere and then when we caught the, the youngsters then uh, we had to try and get through them and at the same time try and outfox John. So I managed to do that once or twice, he got me back but in the end uh, hopefully I've got the win. After two rounds of Astron Energy Polo Cup, this is how it stands, Nathan Victor on the top by three points, eight of Jason Newsmore. A couple of points back there is Ethan Goodseer and Mo Karodia. Alfisa and Jean-Dre Marie making up the top six.